A basic green screen composite with Reality Engine could be based on following five setups. Video IO Pipeline, Tracking Data, Reality Gear, Projection Setup, and Final Composite. I already have Engine and Mixer nodes in my R graph. Let's start with the video I.O. setup. Add Aja card, Aja in, Aja out nodes. Select Aja card node and select the device ID. I am using external hardware for referencing. Now connect the device out pin of Aja card to device in of Aja in node. Select input mode. Now connect the output device pin of Aja card with device input for Aja out node. Now select output link for Aja out. We should place Aja out node besides mixer and engine node as it is related with the final output after composite. Now connect the program out pin of mixer node with video in pin of Aja out node. This is more or less everything that you need to set up video IO. Now let's move on to our next step which is the setting up the tracking data. Add user track node which helps you to imitate tracking data if you are working on your design workstation or any other machine that doesn't have access to the tracking device. It can be replaced later with the tracking protocol. Add track modifier, it helps you to keep your connection with several nodes while swapping user track with your desired tracking protocol. Now add lens node which holds pre-calibrated stock lenses. But remember, sometimes you don't need this node as your tracking data already carries lens information with it. Let's move on to our third step setting up reality gear. Before anything, let's add a delay node which helps you to overcome any delay between video and tracking data. Reality gear is the image-based gear which required clean plate. To serve the purpose, let's add cyclorama node. But first, we need to understart the video. Let's connect the pin as shown in the video. As reality gear is the tracking aware gear, so most of the node required tracking data to function. Let's add reality gear node. As we undistort the video before cyclorama, we need to distort it back before reality gear node. We need to add another input to distort node in order to compensate with two output pins from cyclorama. Reality gear receives three input, video from Aja, clean plate from cyclorama and mask generated by cyclorama. It works exactly as a difference mat subtracting original green screen video with clean plate and gives you the final output. Now let's add the virtual camera. It receives four input. Parent, post process, track and projection. First thing first, let's provide tracking data to your camera node. It also required an important input which is projection. Now here comes in the projection setup. The projection defines three-dimensional volume in your virtual set, where we project the keyed video from your studio camera. It also helps to align your talent and reflection in 3D space. Add projection node, projection cube, which is the 3D mesh and could be the custom mesh matches your physical studio dimensions. Connect the projection pins of projection and camera nodes. 
the projection out must be connect with the actor in pin of the projection node. Before connecting the keyed output to the projection, you must undistort the video. Now add and connect the custom actor which helps you to align the projection inside your virtual environment. Now add post process node to the camera and this will complete the virtual camera and projection setup. For the final compositing, let's add composite passes node which required several input but only three are important for this basic setup. Before making its connections, let's add an optional color correction node which adds another layer of color grading control. Connect the color correction node to render input. Tracking pin requires the tracking data. Let's connect composite out to the channel 1 of the mixer node and video in of the composite passes node should be connected to the reality keyer output. To complete the setup, let's connect time code of Aja in to time code in pin of the engine control. Right now, we don't have any real tracking data, so let's swap the user track with our real tracking protocol. Any tracking protocol requires some setup, which depends on your tracking service provider. I have already configured and saved a tracking node. Let's import it and connect rest of the nodes which require tracking input. As you can see, both projection cube and our virtual set tracked synchronously. It's time to add clean plate. Select the cyclorama node and hit add projection button. While doing this operation, make it sure that your cyclorama must be empty. As soon as you hit the button, reality care comes into the action. Let's put our dummy talent back inside the cyclorama. In the output dropdown of reality gear, you can check different outputs, mats and masks. Now the reality gear requires some minor fine tunes and color corrections. Just to save the time, I have already prepared the final R graph to show you the final output. You may add another color correction node in order to blend both foreground and background together. For the further details about every node, you must refer to our documentation page. You can find the link in the description.